Hello compilers and welcome to another texture pack review. Today I have RPG Craft 2003. <laughs> and this was made by Felix Zero. Now this was inspired by the RPG maker. That's uh I think uh, through through his description he adds what what this is about. And for me this is a an a very amazing texture pack. I'm surprised it only has 2000 downloads. It is very reminiscent of a lot of RPGs. So even if you know it's not specified to like uh, Final Fantasy or anything, it's in general all of the RPGs. So I I'm really loving this texture pack, and we'll look at it more. Uh, you already saw the sun. This is the moon. They both look great. All of the spawn eggs have been finished. Let's slap on the pumpkin. Sadly, there is no pumpkin blur. If he could add anything that would represent an RPG uh, kind of heads-up display, that would be better. The armor, the leather is a little bit weird because it, it's like silver instead of leather colored. Uh, chain armor, uh, it's finished but it, no, nothing special. <laughs> Iron armor looks nice, very fitting. Gold armor looks amazing too. And the diamond armor has this strange outline uh, around, the, around the armor. I guess it's supposed to be like, uh, like a glowing effect. Either way, uh, here we have the TNT. And let's check the explosion. It's been a long time, but the explosion is actually finished on this texture pack. And so is the smoke particles. The critical hit has also been edited. And the arrows themselves are finished. Oops, I picked <laughs> I picked it up there. But you can tell that it's finished. Very amazing. Uh, I really like this. Uh, unfortunately for the hook on the fishing rod, it's not finished. The ball of enchantment is, but not the XP or the <laughs> or the enchantment smoke. Well, I'm not sure what to call it. <laughs> Map is not finished. Pig is default, but the love particles are also not. Fi hey, where the hell you think you're going? Holy crap! This thing got smart on me. Hey, hey, <laughs> leave him alone! <laughs> Damn it! I don't want to punch stick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Damn it! He ruined can I has name. <laughs> anyway, here we have the signs. <laughs> a little hard to read through, but um, I I was reading that I, that I actually did not install the the custom language that this texture pack has. So a lot of the GUIs will look weird because I didn't do that. Oh yeah, the the wood and stone pressure plates, the beds. Oh, the bed reminds me of the one in Link to the Past. Very amazing. Fire is the fault, but the smoke is finished. Lava is finished, although I don't like how bright the lava is. I do like my lava to be a little bit more red. Uh, here we have water, which actually looks very amazing. Oh, hey, the boat. Hey, little boat. And uh, Lady Pet looks the fault, unfortunately. But the water looks great. Again, very reminiscent to the RPG games. <laughs> yeah, my voice. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, um, the heads up display looks also good. I like the meters. The glass texture looks too much on the default side, so I can't say much about it. And that's how it is in much, most RPGs, so... Yeah. <laughs> Minecarts aren't finished, unfortunately. Uh, levers is completed, and so is the buttons. Well, the buttons are obviously finished. <laughs> the pistons look great. Very amazing. Uh, active redstone dust. Red torches look amazing. They they look like they're bubbling out the, the redstone power. I don't know what to call it. Uh, the repeaters, they look like bongs. <laughs> Inactive redstone dust. Torches look great. I wish they were animated, but uh, I don't think he wants to implement animations on this texture pack. Which is good. Uh, booster rail on. Now, the only thing I wish is that the off was a little bit more darker. So when it turns on, it glows a, a little bit more. Snow, I'm sorry, ice, snow, sponge, glowstone, punking, jack-o'-lantern. Uh, redstone lantern on and this is off <laughs> TNT and stone gravel cobweb sand clay brick dirt grass stone brick mossy crack and chisel which has a very unique design let's check oh wait we can't see the breaking animation here oh well sandstone chisel smooth sandstone with the sandstone top ladders stone cobblestone mossy cobblestone soul sand netherrack nether brick 
all of the ores, which look amazing, the gold, iron, diamond, and lapis lazuli blocks with the bedrock and the obsidian. The wood top with the jungle stuff, birch wood, red wood, and normal wood. Here we have all of the wool textures which are slightly edited from the default ones but uh, dang so far this texture pack looks amazing here we have the yellow and red flowers tall grass and the fern the chicken cauldron <laughs> the watermelon looks default uh, so does the seeds and the wheat the farmland is finished and so are the sugar canes the red and brown mushrooms the what is this? Uh, the dead shrub very amazing I like the shrub, it is, it is one of the most unique shrubs I've seen. It looks like a cactuar. Uh, <laughs> the... What was this? The, the cactus? <laughs> Brain not working. <laughs> I should really find a way to make this uh, not be pre-recorded and be in-game recorded. Uh, most of the items are finished as you can tell. Mm, the cake is finished. It has, it, uh, it has like a candle but like fell down. <laughs> Here we have all of the tool items from wood, stone, I really like that iron sword. Uh, gold looks a little bit weird, it, I, I guess it's supposed to be like glowing or like molten weapons. But uh, it, they're nothing compared to the golden items. I'm sorry, to the diamond, to the diamond <laughs> weapons. Come to think about it, gold is usually referenced as the joke one. Since it's so crappy. <laughs> the small chest and here you can see that little... Uh, the the custom language getting in the way if I installed it the chest would not be interrupted at all uh, the brewing stand is also finished oh thank god Let, let's check the uh, there we go so what you do is that I think you uh, erase the file on uh, on minecraft and then you just install the the language text I think uh, on your minecraft and all of these words like inventory would, would look even better oh uh, here we have the workbench nice uh, the dispenser top the dispenser face is pretty creepy it doesn't doesn't match with the sides of the of the block but the face itself looks very nice uh, here we have our furnace and wow it's been a long time since I've seen a <laughs> uh, a smelting process <laughs> all right amazing uh, here we have the note block and the jukebox which looks very nice the wooden doors I have nothing to say and the iron doors <laughs> with the trap doors am I saying words right? I can't even tell anymore <laughs> nether brick looks uh, amazing normal fences look fine too it looks like oh hey this one is finished it looks like the sky in most <laughs> most RPG games okay so some paintings are done here we have royal Royal what? Royal flags, I think. Oh, hey, the inn, a uh, weapon shop, more flags. Uh, oh, the pub. <laughs> you gotta love the pub. Some dungeon-like things. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so this this texture pack doesn't have custom mobs yet, but uh, this creepy looks very amazing. Uh, the zombie is also very nice looking. The skeleton is completed, and he looks amazing. Uh, let's check the slime, which is the only other finish as far as enemy mobs go. The cows are also finished too. Now again, I'm only showing the mobs that are finished. Everything else I'm skipping. Which, that was it. <laughs> Here we have the monster spawner. Uh, nothing too special, but uh, hey, it's finished. <laughs> so here we go into town. Let's go into town. Uh, golems and villagers actually no golems are not finished the villagers are slightly edited which we can see over there hello well that guy is just glaring at me <laughs> okay well I'm just gonna ignore you uh, here we have the bookshelves look very nice and the enchantment table let's check if the, the, the thingy is finished Whoa, th what the hell did I just got um hi there sir <laughs> you just kinda creeped up on me <laughs> <laughs> you crazy freak. <laughs> oh yeah, um oops, I broke the ladders. Uh let, let's test our the um, 
what is this the enchantment hit particle it actually looks I can't tell uh, the the coloring that I that I picked for the sword is not very visible <laughs> anyways uh, here we have the dungeon very nice the colors really make this place look dark <laughs> Uh, let, let's set up the light. Oh, and my creative inventory is uh, messed up because uh, you know I'm using the one point. You know, I, this is already updated for one point three. Basically, it's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> uh, the ice looks very nice. I like how it, uh, it perfectly tiles up. Amazing. I really love the snow biome. <laughs> uh, the the snow grass has a little tiling issue with the dirt like over there in the corner but it's just like a little pixel uh yeah hey, heck uh, from afar you wouldn't even notice it <laughs> oh whoops i took a wig also um oh yeah i'm a little sick but uh here we have the <laughs> here we have the brown mushrooms oh well, giant i guess and the uh, red mushrooms now there's this little pixel at the bottom of the texture this one oh wait there we go this one that makes this texture tile up a little bit weirdly it really stands out, just like the the brown mushroom. It looks like it has this grid pattern. I don't know. Uh, I'm not even sure if the texture pack creator is gonna take in consideration my my opinion. <laughs> um, because I will be posting this on his forum topic. But you know, I don't know. I I he did not request this review, by the way. I I saw it in the indie pack. Oh my god, this scene is amazing. Holy crap. Well, that's destructive. <laughs> and the binds. Uh, that sand was amazing. But uh, as I was saying, this was... Uh, I, I took this from the Indie Pack Central. Nice guest. And, you know, he, he didn't even request me to do this review. I just did it because I'm doing reviews of... <laughs> it looks like Ganondorf. <laughs> I, I know he reminds me of someone else on the... Whoa, on the classic video game. I can't remember the guy's name. But that pick looks amazing. Well, let's get a guest in here. I guess are finished, but they look they look weird. <laughs> so I can think about that's that's not a few magma cubes, but uh, you know I'll just explain that in the end. <laughs> uh, here we have a guest, which I guess we will see in the back side. Oh crap! I didn't look at the face. Oh well. Uh, anyways, here we have the net awards, all three stages, and the net effect looks pretty amazing. We really like this. All right, let's go into the nether book, which obviously has this towel up issue, which is very clear and doesn't towel up at all. But uh, let's consider that this is an this is inspired by an RPG game, and if you ever played RPG, things don't really towel up half of the time. So you know it's completely acceptable and into the theme. Was that a flower? Oh wait, no, it's a mushroom. <laughs> Looks like a flower. <laughs> but uh, you know. It's very into the theme, and it doesn't really look that bad. I'm not one of those people that complain about town. Whoa. Okay, this is a perfect example for a texture that tiles up perfectly. <laughs> uh, crack stone brick is a little hard to see, but uh, wow, look at the colors on this place. But yeah, I'm not much of a person that uh, focuses on when things tile up or not, unless it really ruins the block. And which, in this case, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, th that that instant looked very amazing. So let's jump into the end and finally get to say things right. <laughs> okay, so we have come to the end, and I would just like to state that again, this texture pack review was pretty much made by courtesy. Uh, you know, I wasn't even asked to do <laughs> this texture pack, but hey, uh, when when I get no request and I want to do videos because I really like to do Minecraft videos above all. Especially looking at all these texture packs. So this was one I found on the Indie Pack Central, which I, I think I'll link below too, uh, so you can guys can check it out and see other, you know, because again this texture pack only has 2,000 downloads. I'm surprised because it should have more. It, it looks really great. And in the personal rating, this receives a 9.5 out of 10. So if you agree with me, please check the description below and download this texture pack. It is a very amazing pack and I really recommend it to anyone who loves RPGs. Now there is one last thing I want to mention as you have noticed my arm looks a little bit different and probably when I was testing out the armor. I have a new custom skin which I made myself and uh, it will be my current one for the next what 50 reviews. <laughs> 
and here I am uh, you can you can totally look at my <laughs> the back side <laughs> and uh, I really like this texture pack and my new custom skin hello friends <laughs> hell yeah I look so boss like a boss I also uploaded my old uh, custom skin on planet minecraft I'll also put a link to that but uh, in the end my friends and my compadres uh, <laughs> this was another texture pack review I hope you enjoyed again I really recommend you to support Felix Zero on his amazing looking texture pack maybe he'll finish it uh, and get a perfect 10 and maybe he'll add a, a few special animations just for the heck of it <laughs> but uh, until then uh, thank you all for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like or a comment below my name is the 69 and until next time take care and have fun playing lates